Keith Urban. Kicks 105.5. Good morning. It's 7.49 on Hump Day. The 18th of November, and as we do each and every Wednesday, we have Mike Barrett with Good Policies from Barrett Insurance Agency, and good day, Mike. How are you? Good day, sir. I'm good. How are you? I am well, my friend. Uh, I was just thinking about that name, Keith Urban, because, I don't know, Keith Rural just sounded too stupid for a country (laughs) name. Uh, Speaking of stupid, I tend to uh, have my mind just sort of float to unusual you know, things. And I was thinking about you before you got here today. Which really scares me when you <clears> say <throat> unusual things and thinking about me, uh, let me without let me pausing that. for a breath. <laughs> before they take my man card I'm away. I'm going to go ahead. I'll be outside. <laughs> I was actually thinking, I read a statistic that made me think of you the other day, where uh, something like 13,000 homes burn down every year because of people deep frying turkeys. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, yeah. that does happen. That does and, happen. And uh, is this something that... Uh, is in a policy like if you know you have a crazy uncle or something and he always cooks uh can you be like okay mike check it out on my insurance i want to make sure i have some sort of indemnity uh, that would cover crazy uncle stupidity cooking uh the the, the good and bad news in that good for the uh, clients bad for the cus- uh, the com- companies is uh i always call the 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 most common policy which is a special form policy uh HO3 is what we call it you can look on your policy and go, oh, yeah, that's what he's talking about. Uh, we do kind of sometimes uh, call that the uh, idiot policy. <laughs> <laughs> because the way it works, that we don't mean it that way, but the way it works is oh, that. Oh, but you do. Well, we do. But <laughs> I have the idiot policy, too, just so you know. Um, but um, it, the way it reads is if, if it's not excluded, it's covered. So you're frying in your garage. You shouldn't be, but maybe you are. You're frying on your back deck. You shouldn't they do. be, but maybe you are. They do. Company's not going to go. Oh, you were frying your turkey. Uh, where were you frying that? Uh, now, here on the contract, if you're fl- frying it within five feet of a wall, you know, I mean, that's not going to happen. It's going to be covered. So, uh, so it, it's it's interesting, but it is there. So H O three H O three form that's my... three special form. Now, 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 if you hear me uh, refer to somebody as an H O three. That they're a true idiot. <laughs> and I have a feeling somebody's listening right now, and they're going to refer to me as an HO3 later on. So Believe I, me, I get called much worse than an HO3. Yeah, so. I'm sure you're an HO4 and 5. Uh, so <laughs> some other items that are going on this week with you? So uh, it's one of those things where I, I like to talk about things that I see in here. And uh, so let's say that you have a homeowner policy. You've had it for years. Uh, you're happy, and you think that everything is great. And then you go one day, well, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to... I'm going to have a home daycare. I'm going I'm to have some kids and watch kids at the house. It's a great thought. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but you got to think, when you do something like a home daycare, or maybe you've got chickens and you're like, wow, I've got way too many eggs for me to eat. I'm going to start selling some of these eggs. Uh, or maybe you're... You know, your hobby is uh, maple syrup, you know, producing some some syrup. You decide, oh, I'm going to sell syrup out of my house, or I'm going to have a home office. These are all things that really can impact you. And this is where that idiot thing we talked about becomes null and void, because these are all businesses in some way, shape, or form. It's a business to some degree. And what is excluded on a homeowner policy, business, business activities. So when you start doing these items, you should absolutely have a dialogue with your insurance carrier or insurance agent and, and talk about what you're looking to do. Um, first off, companies are going to have some, some additional scrutiny for some of these to make sure that you're, you, you are operating in a safe capacity. You know, if you have a daycare, making sure you've got ground fault outlets, making sure your cupboards are locked, making sure the poisons are away, making sure you've got fire, uh, fire egress, proper egress uh, on all floors that the daycare is operating on. So all things that you should consider all things that could impact you, all things that could leave you hanging high and dry if, God forbid, something was to occur and you didn't take that step to double-check and to make sure you have a proper endorsement on your policy or even an additional policy so that you can have coverage for these exposures. All right, we got Mike Barrett, Barrett Insurance. It's good policies on Kix 105.5. We do it each and every hump day. And uh, <laughs> What day is it? Every hump day. <laughs> hey, anybody know what day it is? Yep, 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 hump day. <laughs> I, I love that commercial. I do too, Geico. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a free plug for the, the other guy. The other guy. 
Um, if you have questions, uh, would like to know more about the, the good policy conversations that we have, um, he's got a phone number and some stuff online that would be in- incredibly helpful for somebody who's just now coming into the fold of trying to be a responsible adult. Because <laughs> um, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm I'm 45, and and uh, for years. I went without a lot of things. I went without insurance. I went without a homeowner's insurance. I didn't have anything set up for my kids. Um, I was a bad man, but I had no choice because when you live on ramen noodle, uh, I think sometimes your thought of, oh, I should insure my family or my car or whatever is like, eh, it's a little out of reach, but you can't afford not to. That right. really is the, the bottom line. There are ways to do it, and we would love to in, to educate you and give you opportunity to, to insure what you what you can afford to insure, at, at the very least. And to do that, you can uh, check us out on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. You also can give us a call, 748-5224. Visit our website online at thebarrettagency.com. Check out our Facebook page, Barrett Insurance Agency. And, of course, check out our YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Mike, for stopping down, as always. Have a great week. Uh, you too. Happy Thanksgiving. Are you going to be joining us here the of day course, before? Of course, yes. All right. Bring, uh, bring cranberries. <laughs>